Hi, it's Teresa Judes, and welcome to my YouTube cooking channel. Some of you know, some of you don't, but I have four cookbooks. I'm a three times New York Times bestselling author. My cookbooks are Skinny Italian, Fabulicious, Fabulicious Fast and Fit, and Fabulicious on the Grill. So today I'm gonna to be doing a new recipe that is not in any of my cookbooks. It's Louis' favorite, and it was one of the dishes that we had at our wedding. It's called Chicken Salt and Balka. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, stop! Oh my god. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm here to <laughs> All right, go up, up, up. <laughs> I'm some of you know me, some of you don't, but I'm all about the love, love, love. My signature is cook with love. And I want you guys to do the same. If you cook with love, your food's gonna taste absolutely delicious, just like you. Now we're gonna start. So I have chicken cutlets right here. I have flour. So you take your chicken cutlet and you dredge it in flour. So and then I usually just dredge them in flour right here like this. I'm gonna heat up the pan and add the olive oil so we could saute the chicken. I preheated the oven at 450. The chicken's gonna be already half cooked because I'm sauteing it first. So then we're gonna use the oven to complete the dish. One of the things I love about this dish is that you have the chicken, you have the prosciutto, the mozzarella cheese. You have a little bit of everything. It's delicious. So I'm excited for the cooking channel. I can't wait to show you guys how simple and easy cooking is. I know a lot of people get intimidated about cooking. It's really simple and easy. And the more you do it, the better you get with it. You know, it takes a little time, but I have to say all my recipes are really simple and easy. Everyone that's tried my cookbooks loves my cookbooks. They're like, oh my God, like I thought cooking was so intimidating, but trying your cookbooks really gave me the confidence to, and inspire me to keep cooking. And you know, you can impress your boyfriend, your fiance, your husband, family members, yourself, and try them. And you'll be like, oh my God, I can really cook. Okay, so these are all done. So you saute them. Remember, we don't have to cook them all the way through because they're going in the oven. So we're gonna lay these on the bottom just like this. Just like that. Then we take a piece of prosciutto like this. I just fold it right in half. This makes a great meal and it's very impressive when you have company or if, you know any, anybody for your family. It, it really looks like it's like a wow. Oh my God, that's like so hard to make and it's so easy to make. And you could also, instead of just laying it across, you could even roll it up and stick a toothpick in it. And it, instead of using mozzarella, you could use Swiss cheese or any other kind of cheese you want. Or, or it's similar like the chicken cordon bleu. Um, you could use the chicken with ham and Swiss cheese. And then with the prosciutto, you could, if you don't like mozzarella cheese, you could use a different cheese. But this is the original way to make it. Right here, and then add the mozzarella like this. And then when the mozzarella melts, it's gonna look so good. Just like that. Okay, when it's done, I'm gonna add the parsley to garnish it. And then here I have chicken broth, and I just put the chicken broth on the bottom till it covers the entire bottom. Just like that. So I add the chicken broth to keep the chicken moist and to help the mozzarella melt in the oven. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven. So everyone's oven works differently, as we all know. An average temperature, I would say 375 to 400, and cook it about 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is melted. While this dish is in the oven, let's see what's to come. It smells good in here. I'm making meatballs. Nice. Yeah. This looks good. Wait, 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 no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, they're not cooked fully. They're not cooked fully. I'm gonna put them in the Sunday sauce. <laughs> Oh my God, stop! Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, just show me, show me, show me. I, I gotta do my thing. 
Can you wear black shoes? I like your outfit, just wear like a black jacket maybe, a black jacket, I have so many leather like, jackets. Like yeah, I have so, oh, go upstairs in my closet, there's so many, like a new jacket. Tijia, I grew up eating these cookies that Nona used to make all the time. I know I don't bake that much, but I'm glad I have the recipe from Nona. Growing up, I, re I remember eating those cookies like all the time. Like that, my mom was a stay at home mom. Yeah. So that's all she did was cook. Hi, babe. Hey, babe, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. What are you making for dinner? I'm making chicken parmesan. Oh my God, chicken parmesan? Yes. I can't wait, I love chicken parmesan. I know you oh, do. Nice, nice. Right. So today I'm gonna be making devil shrimp over angel hair pasta. Uh, you know who ate this? Like, I made it like this, Drew Barrymore. She ate it, she couldn't stop eating it on set. So I know you guys are gonna comment the way I cut my tomatoes, but this is the way Teresa cuts her tomatoes, okay? I have my way of cooking, everybody has their way of cooking. That's it, I just wanna put it out there. Before you Karens make your comments, they're my fingers. So it smells really good, I think it's done. Oh yes it is. Okay, let me just grab my parsley. Right here. Here it is, Louis' favorite recipe from our wedding. So excited to share this with you guys. Can't wait for you guys to try it at home. Make sure you comment below, love to hear from you. Let me know what recipes you want me to make. I would love to make them. If you feel intimidated or you're scared to make them, I would definitely love to help you out and show you how easy cooking is. It's really, really easy, guys. Try my cookbooks, um, cook with me, cook with love, and you will see that cooking is so much fun, so easy, and you will love it too. Subscribe to my channel, there's so much more to come. Can't wait to cook more with you. Remember, cook with love. And just wanna say love you guys, love, love, love. Tanti baji, ciao. Mwah. Sunday sauce is really important to an Italian family, especially in my family. Um, I make Sunday sauce every Sunday, and I can't wait to teach Melania to make sauce for the first time. I never taught you before, right? No, I mean, like, I've always watched you guys, but I never, like, no, not step by step. So I'm excited. I'm excited, too! <laughs> so, all right, peel it. Peel the outside of the onion. With my hand? Yeah. Do not try it. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Yeah. See? So that's the way I do it, okay? So Melania, tell me. I made sauce for the first time. Oh my god, she made sauce for the first time, guys. Mm -hmm.